Hey there, viewers. Sleep is one of the most important parts of our life. You need to do it for your body to function properly. Not only is sleep in general pretty crucial, the position you sleep in also plays a role. Today, we're talking about sleeping positions that benefit your body. Which sleeping position helps you overcome depression? Why do you feel comfortable sleeping like a fetus? Is there a position that can help you with snoring? Also, which is the most unhealthy position to sleep in? We're talking all of that and more. Let's begin with the fetal position. I'm going to get a little personal here, so prepare yourself. When going through my first breakup, I used to cry alone, wrapping myself in my arms. Whenever you're depressed, you tend to wrap yourself in your arms. It gives you the feeling of comfort. But why is it so effective? Well, we're positioned like this in our mother's womb. This sleeping position is recommended for people with anxiety. It helps your muscles relax naturally. Just make sure you're not spending every night in this position. You could end up doing damage to your neck and back. There are also ways to make sleeping in this position a little more pleasant. To limit the tension, you need to extend at least one leg and, if possible, place a small pillow between your knees to relieve the pelvis. The head is not always well positioned on the pillow when you're in the fetal position. Beware of a stiff neck when you wake up. To avoid this, choose a quality pillow that's firm enough to support the neck and not so heavy that your neck will hurt during the night. The cervical vertebrae are better aligned and the pain disappears. It's pretty evident that to sleep well in the fetal position, your choice of mattress is essential. A bed that's soft on the surface and firm in the core is key to a better sleep, regardless of the sleeping position. So, if I was to do the fetal position, what side would I sleep on? We all have our favorite side, a side we fall asleep on quicker. But did you know that sleeping on your left side is better for your health? When you sleep on your right side, your body's weight rests on the digestive organs like the stomach, spleen, and pancreas. This position can cause digestive problems like heartburn and acid reflux. But sleeping on the left side will improve your digestion and blood circulation. For right side sleepers, try switching sides from time to time. Over the next little while, you'll become more accustomed to sleeping on your left side. Even if you're not in the fetal position, sleeping on your side still helps. With proper body alignment, this position can reduce joint and lower back pain, along with the pain associated with long-term conditions, like fibromyalgia. Reducing snoring is another benefit of sleeping on your side. Snoring is a common symptom seen in obstructive sleep apnea. This condition disrupts your breathing, leading to long-term complications like hypertension, arrhythmia, diabetes, heart attack, and stroke. It can even cause brain issues. Getting a good night's rest can prevent cognitive problems. Research shows that your overall brain health may benefit from side sleeping. Finally, your gut health may improve if you switch to side sleeping. When you routinely sleep on your left, your digestive system functions better, easing gastrointestinal issues like heartburn, constipation, and bloating. While sleeping on your side is good for you, your body still prefers variety. As hard as this may sound, you'd benefit from starting out on your side and switching to another position later in the night. Maybe begin your night on your left side and see how you feel from there. It's also important to focus on chin placement by keeping your head on the pillow. Tucking your chin towards your chest will stretch your neck. I'm willing to bet you don't want to start your workday off with horrible neck pain. One drawback to sleeping on your side is increasing your risk of shoulder aches. It can happen on either side. Your shoulder can collapse into the mattress and toward your neck, creating misalignment and pain the following day. A firm mattress and pillow can help relieve the risk and keep your head in line with your shoulders. Sleeping on your left side is believed to have the most benefits to your overall health. Still, either side can help with lower back pain and sleep apnea. It's normal to move around while you sleep. Some people end up on their back. Whatever you choose, try and avoid sleeping on your stomach. Sleeping on your stomach puts pressure on your spine. Over time, the pressure will get so overwhelming, you'll feel the pain in your back throughout the night. You may already prefer a certain kind of mattress, whether it's soft or firm. When it comes to side sleeping, a bed that falls somewhere between those two works best. People with fancy degrees call lying on your back supine position. 
This is science talk for laying horizontally with your face and torso facing the ceiling. People sleep on their back in different ways. Some might sleep with their arms and legs stretched out to their sides. It's referred to as the starfish position. Others sleep with their arms at their sides. Sleeping on your back puts the whole spine, including the neck, in a neutral position. The supine position prevents compression and twisting that leads to lower back and neck pain. Cervicogenic headaches are one example. People having these headaches will often wake up in the middle of the night with pain radiating from their back. This pain then moves through their back to their head and forehead. You may have seen your face with wrinkles in the morning after sleeping on your pillow. These are sleep wrinkles. Over time, they'll contribute to visible signs of aging. This affects people who sleep on their bellies or sides. Sleeping in the supine position can prevent the disfiguring of your face's skin by the pillow. If you find it hard, you can train yourself to sleep in the supine position. The position you sleep in is usually decided during early childhood. Switching it up during your adult life is not always easy. It's always worth noting that people do not usually stay in the position they fall asleep in. Adults will usually change positions up to 45 times in a typical 8-hour night. Supine sleeping is not suitable for everyone. While some people say it can help with aches and pains, others say it makes them feel worse. Last but not least is sleeping on your belly. I know I just said it can be harmful, so why do people do it? Infants often love sleeping on their tummies. Sleeping on your stomach keeps your head turned in one direction for more extended periods, which causes pain and stiffness. Imagine standing and looking one way for two or three hours. Stretching your neck muscle for that long creates soreness. Sleeping on your stomach also extends your neck backward, compressing your spine. Then, you get that tingling feeling in your arm, or your arm falls asleep as blood flow is constricted and nerves are compressed. Avoid bringing one leg up. It can lead to soreness by torquing your hips and low back. If it's hard to break your stomach sleeping habit, try sleeping on your side with a body or side pillow. This may provide the same reassuring pressure on your chest. The question is, does sleeping on your stomach have any benefits at all? Major medical journals agree that side and back sleeping are associated with less spinal pain. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends infants sleep on their back to avoid sudden infant death syndrome. The sleeping position that supports the healthy alignment of your spine is the best one. Your torso sinks into the mattress when you sleep on your stomach. It can cause your back to arch and stretch your spine out of neutral alignment. A misaligned spine can cause a lot of stress and strain, leading to aches and pains when you walk. Stomach sleeping can also increase the risk of neck pain. When you sleep on your belly, you need to turn your head to one side to breathe. Turning your head requires you to turn your neck which moves your neck out of line with the rest of your vertebrae. Apart from back and neck pain, poor sleep posture can lead to additional complications like headaches, as well as pain in the arms and shoulders. When you sleep on your stomach, one side of your face is pressed into the pillow. It pulls and compresses your spine throughout the night. So sleeping on your stomach can also increase your chances of getting wrinkles. Sleeping on your belly during pregnancy is especially bad. You can rest comfortably in your normal sleep position during your first trimester. After that, it gets painful. As your stomach grows, sleeping on your stomach becomes uncomfortable. The discomfort can disturb your sleep. It can lead to sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation during pregnancy can increase the risk of more prolonged and painful labor, postpartum depression, and even premature birth. Instead of sleeping on your stomach, it's recommended that pregnant women sleep on their left side. This position keeps pressure off their liver and the vein carrying blood to your legs. It improves blood flow to the fetus, uterus, and kidneys. You can also use a pregnancy pillow to support the abdomen and cushioning of the legs. It can make sleeping a lot more comfortable. Your sleeping position can either make or break your day. If you're uncomfortable at night, your workday is going to be terrible. There are plenty of other habits you need to adopt to stay healthy. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more related videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Check out the effect of regular push-ups on your body. You can also watch our video on the diet that'll make you lose 10 pounds in three days.
Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how your body works. Which way do you sleep at night? Does it affect your life positively or negatively? Let us know in the comments below.